Sergio Sanchez, um, joining me, part of the Farm Labor Organizing Committee, part of the AFL-CIO out of North Carolina. Sergio, first of all, um, how big is the group that you traveled here with? Oh, we're a group of hundreds, about 300, 400 people. We came in several buses from all parts of North Carolina to the rally today. What is, why did you guys come out here today? What, what's the motivation? Why, why did you guys show up? Uh, we're in solidarity with everybody out here, I guess, in the agenda to make America a more progressive place. We want America to be something that represents every kind of diversity in this country. Uh, we're here because we want to show that we have a presence and that we want America to head in the right direction. So interesting that you talk about um, to, to show that you have a presence because a lot of the message that we're hearing today is the message of get out the vote, turn out in November, um, kind of a show of force against some of the enthusiasm that people from the podium today have said that, that hasn't been heard from the liberal democratic base. Is that part of the motivation turning out today is because you, you see enthusiasm amongst conservative voters and you wanted to turn out um, with your large group to show um, enthusiasm amongst democratic voters? Yes, I think it's important for us to participate in what makes America great. And by us coming out here to Washington, D.C. and showing our presence and being here, it shows that we have a voice. And so I think that's the most important thing to show here. What's the big issue for, for you as a member of the AFL-CIO that you, that you were really wanting to send a message of today? What's the big issue for you guys? Um, we represent farm workers in North Carolina right now. Um, we have a strong problem with uh, lack of enforcement of the laws, but we also have a system of exploitation for our farm workers. So our farm workers are fighting for basic human rights. Um, that is our message to the rest of America in solidarity, that we want an America that gives just jobs to everybody. There, there are so many issues, uh, among them um, labor laws that are being talked about today. What do you hope broadly when you see this large crowd gathered here today, what do you hope comes from this moving into the next month right ahead of the November election? I hope everybody sees the diversity in this crowd and sees that all the issues that here are common sense issues, not radical issues that people want to do with teachers, with workers, with labor rights. It's important, it's common sense, it's the right decision, and we hope that everybody out there is inspired inspired to go out there and vote, to voice their opinion and participate and make changes.